This is BBC News, the latest headlines. An historic win, Sinn Féin become the largest party in the Northern Ireland Assembly for the first time. But the issue of the post-Brexit protocol could hinder the way forward. If the EU don't show flexibility, we've always said we will take the action we need to take as UK government to ensure the Northern Ireland's place as part of the UK internal market and protecting the Good Friday Agreement is absolutely there. I'm Anita McVeigh at Stormont and the big question today after the vote is what happens next and what is it going to take to get parties back here to the power sharing government? President Zelensky says diplomatic efforts are continuing to try to rescue wounded soldiers from the besieged steelworks in Mariupol. More questions for the UK opposition leader Sakir Starmer over whether he broke lockdown rules. A leaked memo suggests a meal he attended was planned despite Covid restrictions. And a former security chief known for his loyalty to Beijing is confirmed as Hong Kong's new chief executive. Hello and welcome if you're watching in the UK or around the world. The Northern Ireland Secretary is to meet the main party leaders in Northern Ireland in the coming days after Sinn Féin secured an historic victory in elections for the Stormont Assembly. Brandon Lewis will urge them to restore the power sharing executive which is currently suspended after a breakdown over the Northern Ireland protocol and the Brexit deal. For the first time, Sinn Féin claimed the most seats and pushed the Democratic Unionist Party into second place. Sinn Féin President Michelle O'Neill says it's a new era in Northern Ireland and that there should be no time wasting or excuses, as she put it, in cooperating to bring back the Assembly. Anita McVeigh is at Stormont for us now. Anita, over to you.